the estate was literally down to its last $500,000. Nobody knows, but that's what, what it was. It was a harsh reality, and I asked, how long do I have? And I only had actually less than a year to make a, the decision if it was going to state or auction it off. And um, I said, I'd like to, you know, give me some time. I'd like to, I'm thinking of opening it up and maybe, you know, opening it up as a museum. They did not want to do that. They felt that, you know, we should just get rid of it and it would be no one would ever, you know, know who Elvis was or your dad was in you know, less than maybe five years, basically. That was it, and I knew better. I know your dad left us a lot of, a lot of things to work with. She did that to save Graceland yeah. and uh, his memory. In 1982, mm -hmm. you opened Graceland. Mm -hmm. She was the driving engine that did that for Graceland, and uh, she did it for her daughter. Thank you, Mom. I can see you now Living like a queen in a house that has everything. Well, when they first opened up for tours, it was a totally different experience of what we had ever known. And all of a sudden, the public is going to be going through this place that you've considered home. And, you know, how much is it going to change? I had no idea at the time uh, what it meant. The first thing that was opened was the actual grave site area. So that was the first thing I kind of got used to, the idea that people were coming up there. And then it sort of gradually moved into the house, but never upstairs. That's all I cared about, you know, was his general area. That was something that I didn't want to exploit in any way. Well, it's really amazing the amount of people who still come here to visit Graceland. Over 600,000 a year. That's a lot of people. It did bother us, I guess, a little bit. But then on the other hand, we knew Elvis was so proud of Graceland. And he did like to show it off. He had had invite people up for parties and things and just bring them up to show the place off. And I know Elvis would be proud of the way it was taken care of. And to go there now, it's like, comforting to see it in its original form and never touched, you know. And on the other hand, it's sort of, um, you know, heartbreaking to go there and look at that it's just a shell now of what was. It's a house now. It's not the home that it was, but trying to recreate that without Elvis, it really isn't a home. 